Hi there, my name is Bryson Jack and I wanted to show a tutorial, a quick one hopefully, on how to take multiple textured objects and to put them all into one uh, UV map, one texture atlas, and so that's what we're going to do. So for this scene here, I've got two objects in the scene. I've got a hemi-light so that I can see the materials that I apply, and then I have just a cube primitive. And so what we need to do for this cube is we need to UV map it, and then we need to apply a texture material to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, the quickest way to uh, UV map a cube, by the way, is to just select the, any of the top three edges and then all of the vertical edges. And then just go to Control E and mark the seam. And I'm just going to drag over a window UV image editor. I'm just going to double tap A so I'm selecting all the faces. U. I'm going to unwrap it. So you can see it does a nice job of unwrapping the cube. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to hit U and I'm going to say reset so that all of the faces have the same image. That's just going to be better for this demonstration. So, anyway, um, so what I've done is I prepared a bunch of images here uh, 256 by 256. Just need it for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to select the number one and drag it over. And then I'm going to come down here to the viewport shading and I'm going to change it to material. And we're not going to see anything yet because we haven't actually created the material. I'm in Blender Render by the way. Um, so click on the material panel, hit new, and then we're going to enter cube there. And then what we need to do is go to the texture panel and actually add a texture to the material. So I'll call that cube also. And we've already added the, I have already added the um, image to the scene, so let's click on this and choose it, and it shows up. And you can see that the number ones are upside down. That not really important for this demonstration, but I'll just show you something else. If you want to ever rotate your UVs, you can just select the face, hit Control F, and you can rotate your UVs that way. And then Shift R is a repeat command, so you can just select the faces and then just hit Shift R and Shift R and again, and there we go. So. I'm going to uh, duplicate that and move it over in the x-axis. Actually, I just need to move, in the, move these over here. All right, so I've got uh, another cube, and it looks exactly the same. I want to make that unique and make it a copy. And so anyway, um, what you're going to do is just click on this. Uh, there, there's two objects that are using this material. I want to click this to make it a single user. And so I'll just type in two there. I need to do the same thing for the texture. Click that, make it its own. Cube two. And then drag over the two here. And then select two. All right. By the way, if you're ever in edit mode, um, you won't be able to. Uh, make a single user. So let me uh, show you. I'm going to duplicate that again. So if I'm in edit mode, it's grayed out. And so if you ever see that, then you just need to make sure that you're in object mode. All right, so I'm going to uh, make that a unique single user there. Three. Same thing. And edit mode here, drag over the three, select it, and then shift D, X one more time, and uh, call that one four, and then make it its own unique thing, say four. And then drag over the four. There we go. All right. So in your scene, you've got four 
unique objects. Uh, they're all UV'd. They're all they've all got textures applied on them. And so now we want to basically make one UV map where it has all of the images, all the the, the textures on there, and then um, apply it. So. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all the objects, and we've got to combine these. And sometimes you don't want to just combine all your objects together because there's some things you have to do first of all. But uh, you know, maybe you have modifiers on there or whatever. You don't want to you don't want to harm your objects. There's an add-on called Texture Atlas that comes with Blender, and uh, you just come up here and start typing in texture. You'll see UV Texture Atlas. You can enable that. Once you've got that enabled, then you just go to the render panel and uh, scroll down. There's a Texture Atlas rollout at the bottom. All right. And so, with all of these objects selected, I'm going to click on the plus button here to add a new group. It's called Add Light Map, but it's kind of confusing. But it's just a, a new group. Uh, we can just keep the Texture Atlas name, or you can name it something else if you want. I'm going to hit OK. And then what I want to do, um, these are all 256 by 256. I'm just going to increase it to 2048 by 2048. And I don't need to auto unwrap it here because um, we've already unwrapped it. So I'm just going to say start manual unwrap. And then you can see down here in the corner it says texture atlas merged object. And uh, so it, now instead of having four objects, we've got five because it just combine them all together. All right, so that's really nice. And so what we need to do is um, actually um, well, we'll see. I, one thing I didn't do. We'll see if I can fix it. Anyway, so um, I'm going to go into edit mode here. And so we've got six faces per cube times four, 24 faces that are all stacked on top of each other here. And so we don't want that. Um, so what we're going to do is go to UVs and we're going to pack islands. All right. And then we need to, we need to use uh, change the margin. I'm going to hit F6 and just adjust the margin a little bit. That's nice that you can do it on the fly. I just want to give it some room so that they don't the you know the textures don't bleed into each other. So anyway, um, so now you can see that we've got our, you know, this is all messed up, but we'll we'll fix that. Alright, so we've got our texture atlas. And we're pretty much done with the texture atlas UV. I mean add-on, excuse me. So I'm going to come over here again, and I'm going to say finish manual unwrap, and there we go. What that has done is that has created an extra UV map for each object. So we've got UV map and texture atlas for each one of these. All right. And so what I what I wanted to fix um, is I'm going to come back over here to the material, and I just need to come down. And make sure that under the uh, under mapping under map that these are all set to UV map. These are for the individual objects. All right. All right. So we've got all those, and uh, then we've got the texture atlas selected for each of those. So I'm going to go over here to the uh, render panel, and I'm going to go to bake, and then I'm going to select textures, and then I'm going to uncheck clear, and then I'm going to click bake. All right. And if I select all of the of the cubes at the same time, and I say bake, then it's going to bake all of those textures onto that atlas map. If you have clear uh, checked and you bake a texture, it's going to clear everything off of that texture and, and including what it just baked. 
So you need to make sure that that's unchecked. And then when you hit bake, it'll just add them all on there. All right. All right. So now what we've got is we've got our texture atlas. This is exactly what we wanted. And um, now we just need to apply it. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna actually just select this cube right here and um, go to the material. And I will just add a new one, a new slot, and then a new material. We'll call this uh, Atlas. And so we just need to make one material because they're all going to share the same one. So let's do it one more time. New Atlas. Come down. We'll choose the texture Atlas there. And then for each one of these, um, we can just delete the data there, the material, and then just assign the new atlas to it. And on this one, we can just change that. Change that one. And change that one. As you can see now, with the zero, that none of these cubes are using any of those materials anymore. They're all using that one atlas map. So anyway, that's how you do it. Um, and the, the texture atlas add-on is really good. And I highly recommend using it. There's a couple other ways you can do it. You can use an add-on called multi-edit, which will do the same thing. Um, but anyway, those are the quickest ways. I don't want to show you how to do it manually because it's just too much of a pain if you can use these add-ons. So hopefully that helped you and um, have a great day.